Welcome everybody. Welcome back to Homestead Hearts. And today we are doing the 2023 garden tour. Oh yes we are. Y'all this is gonna be a long video. It's gonna be a great video but it's gonna be a long one. So we are gonna go ahead and get to it. Nina is in the background. Her and Buck they're having a good time. Y'all let's get to this garden tour. <laughs> And where we are going now for the first section of the garden tour is the Wally Mallon patch. Yes, I'm going to adjust this camera so I can carry the camera around. And then, y'all, we're going to follow Mr. H into the watermelon patch. Oops, I didn't lock yeah, it. Yeah, we have type. four different types of watermelon. Mm hmm. So, we oh, wait, I got to adjust this, Mr. H. Hold on one second. Okay, take your time because it's going to be a long day. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. Okay, y'all up in the sky. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. All right, y'all. Let's go with Mr. H. <laughs> okay, here we go, y'all. We tried different types of ways of growing watermelon. So yes. we put our hands together. We said, what we what we going to do? We're going to put ground cover down. Mm -hmm. And Mrs. H came up with the idea. We're going to put holes in the ground. We're yep. going to fertilize these holes. Yep. And we have four different types of watermelon. That's right. So I know we have strawberry yep. watermelon. Uh, what's that? Black? Black diamond. Black diamond. And there's two more different types. Oh, the crimson sweet and the sugar baby. How are we going to forget baby. sugar baby? Let me make sure that camera looks good. Okay, here we go. Wait yeah. a minute, where it go? There it go. Okay, sorry. All right, y'all. So, so here we go. We're going to start on this end right here. As you see, right. we have flowering going on right here. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to be, be gentle with these babies. Yeah. Because they looking quite good. Mr. H, there's some melons up in here. Yeah. Here's a little small one right here that's Let's coming see. up. Right here. You just, see it? Just blooding out right there. Oh, it sure is. It sure is. Mr. H, look right here. Ooh! Look right here, Mr. H. What do you see? See up in there? Let me see, Mr. H. Oh, wow. They are everywhere in there, Mr. H. You see it right there hiding? Yeah, I see it. Might have to move the leaves back so they can see. Yeah, let me move the if leaves back. You can back. get in there and do it. I don't know. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yes. Look, look at, at that. that one coming along. That's a nice looking one, right? Isn't it beautiful? It's probably way more in here. We just can't see them for all of the cover, y'all. Yeah, and, and what we want to do, we want to mm -hmm. let them do their thing. And I've seen a couple of bees in here. Miss H, it's bees everywhere. Look at that bee right there. They're everywhere. I mean, everywhere I look, I see the bees we in the garden, Miss H. Everywhere. So pollinators right everywhere. Here. Okay, Miss H. And I'm going to see, can I find another one? Okay. Oh, here's one. Oh, I need to come that way? Yes. Okay, on my way. Wow, look at these two babies right here. Oh, it's two of them side by side. Yeah. Ooh. See, here's Let me a little see if one. I can get up in there. Yeah, you come, over, you come over here on this side over here. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Those are beautiful. Looks like the sugar baby, right? No, the sugar babies are on the other side over there. Okay. Wow, here. look at that little one. Yeah, here's a little one right here. Oh, See, watermelons yeah. grow so fast. Y'all. Look at this one right here. You see it? Here I come. Come over here. You see it right there? Yep. I see it right down up in there. Yeah, them, that's a beautiful melon growing, Mr. H. I see. Wow. You we know. got other melons down here. The honeydews and cantaloupes and stuff. Yeah. Look, Miss H, look right here. Look down in that leaf right there. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Ooh, you gotta take it from under that plastic. Yeah. And sit it on top so we can go on and grow. Yeah, look at that, y'all. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's a honeydew. Wait. Y yeah. That's I think that's the honeydew. Yeah. Uh huh. Wow. It's bees everywhere, like Mr. H said. There's one right there. You can't move too much, but you see, you come over here. Oh, bit. I see it, but they're not going to be able to see that, Mr. H. So this is the melon patch, y'all. 
and all the flowering is just looking good. Mm -hmm. Y'all can see. Now look at the cantaloupe, Miss Asia. I'm looking at a cantaloupe right here. Do you see it right there? Do you see it? The small cantaloupe? Yep, right here, Miss Asia. Oh. Look at that. That's beautiful. Cantaloupes. Look at these two small ones over here. Cluster. Mm -hmm. They're everywhere, y'all. Look at this and then, one right of course, here. my favorite. I'm so excited Look about it. That canary melon. We got two of them, Mr. H. I see. Wow. Is, did something take a bite out of my canary melon? Where? On top of that little one. Move that leaf right there. Let's see. No. It's just a little discoloration. Okay. You know, I'm a little paranoid with these yeah, you uh, have to rabbits. Get, you have to protect it some kind of way because... Mm -hmm. Now, all three of those are canary, Mr. H. And here's one right here. Mm -hmm. It's hiding in the, in the brush right here. You step over here. Okay. And I'm going to move the leaf over. Oh, look at that. Just sitting down in there, hiding in the cut. Yeah. Wow. So this is the melon patch. I'm going to back up, Mr. H, so they can get a good view of yeah. just how beautiful. Let, let Mr. H stand in there so y'all can see. Just how beautiful that melon patch is looking, y'all. Isn't that gorgeous? This is nice. Wow, y'all. And like Miss H said, we got ground cover down. And the ground cover just helps to control the weeds. But you all saw the video where we dug out the holes. We burned the holes in the ground cover. And we backfilled it with organic matter, mixed it with the sand and some compost, and, and planted our melon starts. Yes. And... and, and this is a great way to do it because we don't have that much grass. You we know, don't have any grass going up. The watermelon don't have to fight with the grass. Right. Get, mm -hmm. You know. That's right, Mr. The nutrition, you know. No competition whatsoever. No competition whatsoever, y'all. Mm hmm Y'all, it's so many bees out here, like Mr. H was saying. I don't think know if y'all could see them, but they are everywhere. They are. And Mr. H, I was saying earlier, I think some of them may be bees from our hives. What you think? Yeah, I think so. Here's another one right here. That's the one we showed them first. Okay, that's mm -hmm. the first one, right? Yeah. There's so many of them that we, we really don't want to disturb what's going on. That's right. So we're going to leave this alone. It's looking so beautiful. It is, Mr. H. All right, y'all ready to move on to the other watermelon patch? The backup watermelon? Yes. So now we're going to bag up out of this, Mr. H, so they can see. Where you at, Mr. H? I'm right here. Oh. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm coming. All right, so we're going to take them to the next patch. Okay, yes. We're going to take y'all to the next patch. One of our most valued treasures. She chilling right here in the, sun, in the shade. Look yeah. at her chilling in the shade. This is a small kitty right there. <laughs> All right, kidding. Mr. H, so now we're taking them to the next melon patch, right? Yes, we are. Now, these, this watermelon patch is the most important at the moment because this watermelon is hard to come by. The seeds are so hard to come by. Yes. And so, we are so excited about this. Y'all know this is my favorite. Now, look at this big, beautiful watermelon. You know we got a, oh, so many bees over here. It is a lot of them. Oh, look at this itty-bitty one right here. We got an itty bitty one there. We, well, we got little ones everywhere, y'all. Yeah. Even one growing here. Yeah. But look at this one. This this one looked like and this. And it's, it's the one that had that split coming in it, Mr. H, but it looked like it's trying to heal, heal itself. Is, yes, there. right there it is. Yeah, it looked like it's trying to heal itself. So uh, someone suggested that we cover it cover it with something to protect it from like the sun so yeah that it doesn't continue to split so i was mm -hmm. thinking maybe we could do that yes what you think well i don't know if it'll make a difference or not but i think we ought to just just leave it alone and see because it's looking so nice okay so you don't think we need to put any kind of towel or cloth no, or something over it? probably just need to fence this thing from the rabbits okay but not worry about the sun no okay all right, so this is the other melons here, Mr. H. Can you see yes. them? Yes, this melon There's right here. There's one here that's coming along nicely. This one is coming along very nicely. Mm -hmm. and it, is. it is. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Now, these, you all, are the Yamada Cream Watermelon. Yes. Remember I told y'all this was my absolute favorite melon. It has such it's a so beautiful... Sweet. Yeah, it's sweet and citrusy, Mr. H. The flesh is what color? Yellow. Yeah. 
Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look like something been scratching on this melon this stage. Yeah, we're gonna have to get the the, the, the pride, mm -hmm. the cats over here. And that's the Bumble family. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. My goodness, so sorry. Yeah, there's another one over here. This okay. is a small one coming yeah, up out of the woodwork. Look at this. Look at that, that's beautiful. And, and I think if we fertilize it a little bit more, we mm -hmm. probably can get more. Well, we've been Here's on a good fertilizing schedule. Here's one right there. Look at this Yeah, I one. saw that itty bitty one. And there's another one up there. We've been on, I, I showed it. We've been on a good schedule already yes. of fertilizing. It's just that the rain mm -hmm. has been so frequent that yeah. we haven't been able to fertilize, Mr. H. Yes. So, okay. So this is Wallum. Watermelon patch number two. Yep. All right, so now where are we going? Okay, now we're going to this row right here, which is, um, <laughs> let's see what we got here. Right here? Yeah. This is that West India burger can. Oh, wow. Let's Look at see. that, y'all. Look at these flowers right here. That's my zinnias. Y'all know mm. that zinnias are my absolute favorite flower. Yes. Babe, come on this side so you can see the burgerkins coming. Okay. I'm going to get so a position. So here it is right here. Like, I don't know if you can see it right there. Right here, mm -hmm. yes. Now, so this is how they start. And the burgerkins, I would tell you from experience, y'all, are the most flavorful uh, cucumbers that you can have, you know? When you cook them. When you cook them. Mm -hmm. Mrs. H slice these and saute these and they hold flavor and i use a lot of indian spices when i cook these burgerkins because that's how it was introduced to me um by our son-in-law years and years ago and oh my goodness the flavor left such a major impact yes and it has a, a nice meaty texture to it they're very good y'all very okay. good so they're coming up, but they not. Actually, I've already harvested a few, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that there are a lot of them. Like, Mr. H, if you move the leaves out the way at, like, the base of the plant, there's probably way more, because they always always start at the bottom, and then they climb. If I didn't pick them all. Yeah. I don't want to knock any flowers. Yeah. Off, but they're coming up. It's a lot of them. And you can see how this plant grows. And we have a trellis here. And we have to come out here, y'all, and really try to maneuver this to get it on the uh, panel right there. Yeah. So that these can continue to grow. And, and on both sides, they're sprawling everywhere, Mr. H. I see. Look over here. Wow. I got to be careful where I step. Yes. Let me see, can I find one? I've been looking because they just started to, to come up. Mm hmm And this is only, I believe, one, two, three, four, maybe five plants. Five plants doing all this. Yes, all of this from four or five plants. And trust me, we're going to have so so many burgergans to where uh, it'd be hard mm -hmm. to harvest them all. It really will be hard to harvest them all. Yeah. And we're gonna show you all what they will do. <laughs> we're gonna show y'all what they're gonna do coming up real soon. Like we're gonna show y'all here in this video what happens. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Mr. H, we're gonna move on to this? Yes. Okay. Let's move on to the next row. This is right. looking pretty good. This is that Enchroma Okra. Yes, and this is looking very good too. Mm -hmm. And it's it's growing. We started these from seed. Well, yeah, babe. You know, and when we did that, we was we was worried that you know they weren't coming up. You remember that? Well, no. You're talking about the motherland okra. Oh, the motherland. Okra. And it yeah. did not come up. Yeah. It did not come up. We're gonna have to try again, but none of those came up. But yeah. the enchroma, they did come up. And they're looking good. Yeah, they're looking very good. We don't have any uh, okra, baby okra coming up on them. Not yet. But they're looking good though, y'all. Mm -hmm. These plants, I believe, are gonna get very large, Mr. H. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're looking very good. Yeah. 
Ooh, man. Bees everywhere. Look at all of those bees. Okay, we're going to the next row, y'all. Look at all of these bees, y'all. Wow. <laughs> Is it safe for me to come over here, bees? Can I get y'all permission? Do I need the permission from the bees? Right. <laughs> and these are all bumblebees. Yeah, this, this is the entire bumble family. Yes. Oh, look at all these small small um, pods coming up. These Those are so just good. little flowers on the tomatillos. And we got some that... No, those are no good. They fail. Yeah, they're no good. Something has been eating holes in the husk and killing it before it gets large enough to harvest. Yeah. And then we cannot use them, Mr. Yeah. H. Mm -hmm. But but it, but it's looking good though. Yes, it is. Yeah, the tomatillos. Yes, it is. Yes, very it is. good. You want to zoom in a little bit? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Zoom in, y'all. Tomatillos. Okay. okay, here I come. Looking very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at the bees. They're everywhere. Yes, they are. These tomatillos, y'all. This, let me, um, this stage pick up one, so you can see it. Pick up this one right here. Right here? Mm hmm You see the hole in the hus in the top? Yes, right there. You see that? So something is doing that. And then when they fall to the ground, open that up. Look at that. They're eaten out of like that. Yeah. And so, well, before they fall to the ground, they're eaten out of like that, you all. And that is why we may have to come out here and spray these plants in the evenings with some um, insecticide. And we're more than likely gonna use, you know, we have neem oil, we have spinosad, and we also have BT. But, you know, depending on what it is that's eating these tomatillos that will determine what we use, yes. okay? We're not gonna use no harsh chemicals. No harsh chemicals in the garden, y'all. Everything that we use is organic. Yes, we have a lot of them that's falling to the ground. A lot, y'all look at all these tomatillos all over this plant. And y'all know what, look at that. Maybe that's the culprit. Where? Right there. See them right here? I forgot what they call them, but they fly. And they are, you know, they are very harmful to the garden. It's so many of them, Mr. H. Yeah, it's so many of them. We may have to spray some uh, spinosad on these plants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, but, uh, but y'all, but these are the tomatillos. And the tomatillos are looking good, y'all. Yes, they are, Mr. Look H. Look at the tomatillos. They're looking very good. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud of this, um, the way how we did this, because they're looking better than last year. They look much better than they did last year. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All they're right, y'all. So now we're going to move on. Yes, we're going to move on. Yeah. And to... Yes, Mrs. H is going to show y'all the cabbages. Now, y'all, before we get to this disaster, do y'all see this right here? There go another one. Oh, I missed it. But, y'all, this right here, I am absolutely loving this. These are our nasturtiums. And, you know, we have the nasturtium seeds available on our seed shop, right? And just look at how beautiful this plant is growing. And keep in mind, you all, nasturtiums are edible from the leaves to the flowers. This is an edible plant, okay? That's wonderful. Now, the other thing about these leaves being edible, you can eat them, and they have like a little spicy flavor. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to add some spice to your sack, oh, man, that's some heat. Okay, that's, that's is real it hot. hot. That's, that's got some heat right there. <laughs> Maybe because the leaf is so small. Yeah. Wow. That's some heat. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Is it good or bad? But it tastes good. Okay. You just got some heat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, wow. Hold up, y'all. <laughs> this is they just having a moment right here with the... Woo! <laughs> okay. Them little small leaves, they got some, they got some kick to them. Now, y'all can use these leaves any kind of way you want to use them. Okay, you can put them in salads. You can use them inside of like cabbage rolls or something to kind of add some heat to whatever it is you're cooking. You can even add these to soups and stews. It will just add a little heat and a little bit of flavor and they taste really good. Now, the other side of this is that this plant is also like 
a bait plant, right? And what this will do is it will tr attract um, the insects to this plant that you don't want in your garden. And of course, I got some cabbages here because I wanted to see, right? I got my nasturtiums here and my cabbages here to see if this would actually help to pull the cabbage moths more to this than to this. And unfortunately, maybe it works, but as you can see, the cabbages are still pretty ate up, right? So let's look down here. You can see these cabbages are, are just full of worms. Can you get closer, Mr. H? Look at this. It's worms everywhere, all over this. So this little experiment really is showing us that although the nasturtiums are very close here, mm -hmm. like all the way back there, you have the nasturtiums back here, and literally we have cabbages, you know, within just a couple of feet of the nasturtiums. And I don't know if it would have made a difference to interplant the nasturtiums in the cabbages. I don't know. But in any case, I won't try this again, right? <laughs> You won't okay. try it again, Mrs. No. H. Now this cabbage looks pretty good right here. Ugh. And it's got worms all around it. And this cabbage looks pretty good right here. And this will be savageable, to tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. See that little cabbage head? It's got worm poop all over it. But this will be savageable, this cabbage right here. So we'll be able to use this cabbage. The rest of them, oh wait, this one might be savageable too, Mr. H. You think so? It may be. I don't know. We'll come back and see. But this may be savageable. Just take off all of the bad leaves and then we can still utilize this cabbage. But the nasturtium looks absolutely beautiful while the cabbages look a mess <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right y'all we're gonna move on to the green beans okay yes so now in this garden here we have two rows of the jade green beans we love jade green beans they taste absolutely amazing but in our experience they're not the most productive when it comes to green bean plants okay now, right now, these do not have any green beans on them as of yet, okay? They were planted uh, maybe a couple of weeks behind the striped green beans that we planted in the big garden. And we'll take y'all over there and let you see. Oh, Mr. H, um, these, this row just proved me wrong. So I'm going to come over here <laughs> and show you all. This has green beans on it. Oh, wow. Along with some um, Japanese beetle eggs right here. I left my jar, so I, I want to scrape those off, but I'm going to get my jar and come back and scrape those off. We're not going to leave them. But as you can see, we have the jades growing right here. Look at that. Nice, long, Man, slender nice. pods. That's nice. And this is, oh, look. This is when we want to harvest them, when they look just like this, okay? Yes. We don't want them to get big and, and full of seeds and, you know, where you can actually start to see the seed development inside of the pod. Yes. You don't want that, you all. So that one has green beans on it, and so does the rest. I'm going to sit this cabbage up here. Don't let me forget to come back and get it. Okay. <laughs> so we have green beans here. Oh, my wagon is way down there. I'll get it later. But we have little green beans coming here. Is that a ladybug? Oh, she's hiding from me. But we do have a, lots of little green beans coming right here. They're real tiny, so these are not ready yet. Yeah. But as you can see, these are the jades. The jades are looking so much better than I thought. You know, they're very slow in producing. So, y'all, <laughs> it's good to have if you want some patience. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're trying to get a ton of green beans all at once, I'm going to say still, hands down, the striped green beans are the best. They're the best. Okay, now. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Ooh. The Great Dilemma. Y'all, so 
So remember I did the video asking you all, what on earth is this? And I said that I would explain to you how it ended up in the garden, right? What, why is it so beautifully planted in the garden on these rows? And when I planted them, you all, they, they didn't look so good when I first put them in, did it, Miss H? No, they I did. I dug them up from the raised bed and brought them over here. Yes. And I said, oh, I don't think they're going to make it, Mr. H. Yes. And Mr. H said, well, just give them some time. They may make it, right? Yeah. And so I brought them over here and I planted them. One thing I should never do is plant anything when I'm tired, <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing any of this you all because I was supposedly digging up some of my Aunt Molly's ground cherries. That's what we thought it That's was. That's what I thought I was digging up, bringing over here to transplant in the raised, I mean in the covered garden so that we wouldn't have to compete with grass and weeds. And as they started to grow, because they were smaller, and as they started to grow, I told Mr. H, these don't look like ground cherries. I don't know what they are. <laughs> yeah. And some of you said this is wild poinsettia. And as you can see, the leaves are absolutely beautiful, y'all. Look at these leaves. And look at the color. You might want to come closer, Mr. H, and angle down so you can see them. Just look at the beautiful color on these beautiful plants. So they said that this was a wild poinsettia and that it is absolutely beautiful to watch grow. And so I'm not gonna pull them out. They're growing now. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe they probably have some kind of purpose. We have well, to find out. Well, if nothing out. else, they would be great for the bees, right? Yes. So I'm gonna leave them, you all. But let's go back here. Let's look. What do we have here? This is one of our Titan sunflowers that's growing in this garden. And this is about to produce a huge sunflower. And of course, the seeds, once this plant is fully developed, the seeds are edible in this mammoth sunflower. Did I say Titan at first? You said Titan. This is not Titan. Titan is one of my favorites, but this is the mammoth sunflower. The mammoth. And many of you are a part of the great sunflower grow off and you are growing your mammoth sunflowers as well and we are so excited about that competition you all along with the great kushaw grow off as well we forgot about the kushaw so we have to do that at the end okay of the video and this is our squash plants right here and we planted a lot of squash and the reason why we planted so many squash is because the squash bo uh, squash bugs and the vine borers you all they come along and they will devastate our crop. We will only maybe get one or two good harvests from these plants before they are destroyed, okay? But as you can see, if you look down in here, look at all of this. We have squash growing everywhere. You can see them. They're coming everywhere. Yeah, and you did a harvest. I harvested a ton of squash yesterday. Yesterday, I harvested so many squash, you all. Now, these right here are the cockazel. You might want to come back a little bit more, Mr. H. These are the, oh, here's one right here. You might be able to get a better view right here. Oh, yeah. You see this right here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice, Dad. And it's that's one on the, the other side, too. And it's one on the other side. Oh, those are going to be so good. So, we have two of these plants right here. Yes. We have two of these, and these are also still available on our seed store, I believe. And if you like, you can get those from our seed shop, and I'll post the link in the description box below. But these are the Cocazelles, and these last two are more of the gray zucchini. All right? So now, y'all, let's move on. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, Mr. H. What? Look at that. Oh, Look man. Look at that, Mr. H. Look at that. Y'all, I told you. A rabbit. Y'all, I told you. Oh, man. I told you. These rabbits, man. Look at this. Look at this, Mr. H. They, they started on this one, left this one, 
and came up to this one. That means that he stood up and did this. And if he stood up and did it, you know that's a very large rabbit, right? Man. Look at that. And do you remember the rabbit that we saw running away the yeah. other day? And I told y'all that rabbit was bigger than one of our largest cats. Yeah. He was huge. And if he stood, he could stand and be about this tall. He was huge, you all. And look at, oh he just, my God. He just messed up. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Oh man, we got to do something about him. Look at that. Okay, so, yeah. I, I, I got a trap. Yeah. I'm going to have to trap him. He is a problem that has to be dealt with. He's a problem. We got um, more spaghetti squash, I hope, down this row that he hasn't destroyed. And I was so excited about that one. So, we have more that's growing up the trellis and... The goal was to be able to try to grow as many before the squash bugs and the boras took out our spaghetti squash plant because it's only a matter of time before they succumb to those pests, right? So I don't know what our spaghetti squash harvest is going to look like. And this is the reason why you all, we try to grow, we try to grow more than what we think we're going to need because we never know what we're gonna be up against. You know, it's not always pests, it's rabbits, it's other things. You just, it could be weather. You just never know. So we try to grow more than what we need because things like this happen every year, all right? So it's always gonna be something. But we have this huge zucchini, Mr. H. That I'm so glad he did not get. And this is our golden zucchini right here, you all. So I'm happy that he didn't eat this. <laughs> yes. Because I can slice this up and saute it and cook it, or I can make some zucchini chips in the freeze dryer. And um, I'm going to do a video showing you all all of how to do that, okay? All right. So we have more squash and zucchini to harvest, but I'm not going to do it because I don't have my wagon. But. Mr. H, we have more hookneck squash here. Isn't that beautiful, y'all? More crookneck. Man, that's beautiful. And I'm gonna try to navigate through here. So what did I plant by mistake, so Mr. Mrs. H? H can talk to y'all about My what mistake. he did <laughs> in this garden. Uh, Miss Guinea, what you doing in here, girl? Are you doing this? <gasps> Mr. H. What? She was just eating the spaghetti squash. She finna be locked up. Oh my goodness, Mr. H. Look. Uh-uh. She, she... Look, Mr. H. She just did it. I caught her red-handed. That's her. I caught her red-handed, Mr. H. She got to go. She did it. Or maybe the rabbit started and she finished. Well. Look at that. No, that's too much. That's too much right there. Yeah, that's too okay. much. So you might want to come this way, Mr. H, or watch your step. All right, y'all. I'm taking this camera from Mr. H, y'all. Because he got to explain himself. Okay, y'all. Wait a minute. I'm going to bag up because I got to make <laughs> sure I get this on camera. <laughs> I'm going to bag up. Y'all, first of all, <laughs> let me say this. I appreciate Mr. H so much for coming out here <laughs> when he has time off to help get the garden planted because it's so much work to plant a garden. So I really appreciate this man so much that he would still take time to come out here even after he has worked long hours and come out and help get the garden planted. So with that being said, <laughs> <laughs> 
I overdid it, okay? <laughs> Woo! First of all, let me back up again. Because I want them to see. This is a trellis right here, right? Trellises have a purpose, okay? Just like this trellis has a purpose, you know, for the spaghetti squash. Mr. H? Well, I got some seeds kind of mm -hmm. like mixed up in the wrong row. Kind of? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this trellis is supposed to be right here. No, that trellis is exactly where it's supposed to be. Okay. <laughs> These... <laughs> But I plant it right here, it's supposed to be where the trail is at, okay? You know, and uh, it was oh just one goodness. of them things, you know. Uh, he said just one of them things. You know, that I was moving so fast. You know, and uh, I got it mixed up. Okay, I, I, I take the blame. He had two varieties of seeds, just two. And the Canada Crookneck, which are these right here. Okay, here, here's one. Miss H, there's another one. Canada Crooknecks. Here's another one. You see another one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. They're supposed to be planted on this row. Right here. But what's over here, Mr. H? It's a bridge. Is it okay? Nope, something has eaten it. Something has eaten it. Mm-hmm. Bit out of the, the bit out of the the top of it looked like, but what we got over here instead of Canada Crookneck, y'all, is <laughs> we got some Crooknecks, all right, but they not the Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <sighs> that's yeah. that yellow Crookneck squash, Mr. H planted. Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> my bad. Uh, <laughs> I was I was I was I was caught up. Okay. He was he was trying to get through. Yeah, I was caught up. We was trying to get through. Mm -hmm. So we do have a uh, crook neck here. Uh crook neck here. Canada crook neck there. And crook neck squash here. And then of course on this row we have gray zucchini. Canada Crookneck and Canada Crookneck. Yes. Now, see. why is it yellowing? Because the squash There's bugs are beginning right to get to it. What about the stage? Pass that big leaf. Ugh. Oh, there it is right there. I see it's a nice one right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And here's a nice. That's a spaghetti squash, here. right? Yeah, you see that one? What about? Right there. Mm -mm. Oh, there it is back here on the ground. Yeah. All right, Mr. H. And then we got to harvest more of the squash out of here. Yes. All right, you all. So now we're gonna swing around and we're gonna talk about herbs. Yes, we are. Now, a lot of this is overgrown because we have to come in and clean it out, right? But even in the midst of the overgrowth, and that's one thing you have to remember, sometimes y'all gardens are not gonna always be beautiful, especially if it's just one or two people trying to do so much and work a full-time job, right? So the gardens may not always be absolutely perfect, but remember we show you all the good, the bad, and the ugly, and this is a part of that, but it's still kind of beautiful, right? So, what do we have growing in our herb gardens? Now, right here, this right here is all mint. Oh my goodness, and it smells so good. Mm. Let me see. Look at that mint, y'all. Oh, it smells so good. We have so many different varieties of mint, you all. This is our peppermint right here, okay? And next to it, we are growing our own sweetener this fell down and it's going to keep falling until we get around to fixing it but oh it came off it's off all together now good okay and this right here you all now you know this is that dogwood fennel and we pull this up because it'll keep growing and it'll just take over 
but it smells so good. This is um, stevia right here. And <laughs> our daughters were out here and I was telling them that this is stevia. Stevia is an herb and it's a natural sweetener, okay? And so my daughter, she took one of the leaves and I said, well, that's a pretty big leaf. You, you're probably gonna end up spitting it out. And when she ate it, she's like, oh, this is so good. And then a few seconds later, the intensity of the sugars that develop in the leaves can become so overpowering that one little leaf like this could just be just way too much to just have on your palate all at once, right? So, like, mm. So that's enough. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I can't even do the whole thing. And you That's wouldn't even it. think that this plant would One be so sweet. One little leaf would be so sweet. And the way we're processing these herbs is that we're going to take the leaves off, put the leaves in the freeze dryer, and that way they will maintain their freshness and put them inside of half gallon jars with an oxygen absorber if we're not going to use them right away. And if we are going to continuously use them, then they'll just go in the jar with a tight lid and when we make like batches of um, lemonade or tea or something like that, you can just ground these up into a powder and mix them in and you don't even need a lot. Trust me, you don't <laughs> need a lot. <laughs> All right, y'all, and this right here is, I, I believe is our lemon mint that's coming back. Yeah, I thought that we lost this because Grizzly or Tamu, one of the dogs got in and dug this up so good and that's why you see the root system kind of just sitting up top here and i'm going to actually cover that that's a weed i'm going to cover that with some uh, potting mix or some compost but this right here oh that's that lemon mint and it smells so good y'all all right so this is nothing so we're going to move on down to our next beds and these beds are right with our garden so we're just gonna move back mr h okay. so that we can um show them this other bed here so now as you can see <laughs> this bed right here is doing very well this is our spearmint bed all right and i have harvested from this so much i got a ton of this in the house right now and it smells so good and y'all we use all of our mint in our waters and whatever else we're gonna use mint for. But this is an entire bed of nothing but spearmint. And we do have some grass growing up in here, right? Some things you just can't help. Now here's something that I'm, I'm really surprised to see. Mr. H may have to come in close. But right here, this is our Moringa coming back, Mr. H. See it right here? It's our Moringa coming back wow, from Moringa. last year. Wow. And I was shocked to see that because I thought the temperatures killed it, but yeah, it did not. That. This mm -hmm. would be great too. So I'm excited about that moringa. Now over on the other side of the watermelon patch, we planted a ton of moringa trees, didn't it, Mr. H? Yes, we did. And none of them made it, you all. So what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to rework that area. I'm gonna restart those seeds. And you all saw how I germinated the moringa seeds and how successful it was right yes. and so i'm gonna restart them i'm gonna rework that area and hopefully mr h if he's here he will kind of be here to kind of help rework all of that yes <laughs> so I don't yes have to be oh i'll be here okay so mr h will help rework that area well i'll just wait till the weekend yes you know that way you know i can definitely have your assistance <laughs> yeah 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 because um it's a lot of work you know once we when we work together we do Good we get a work. lot done when we work together, y'all. We really, we work so, we say it all the time, you know, we're each other's absolute best co-worker. Yes, yes. <laughs> and so, y'all, but this is the spearmint and it's flowering. It's going to seed and I'm going to let it uh, and it's going to continue to reseed and I'll harvest as much as I can and, um, and keep preserving it, okay? Now, in this bed, oh, wow so much going on here yes it is so now of course you all miss h come on this side right here so they can really get a good view 
so you all on this side right here is the zinnia remember i said these are my absolute favorite flowers right here right it's the zinnia beautiful. is it's my beautiful favorite right there mm -hmm. it's a nice shot right there it is. Mm -hmm. and they're flowering and we're getting brand new uh flowers coming in different parts of the plant so it's doing good right mm -hmm. so that's the zinnia now right here we have more of the nasturtiums growing here we have lemon balm all of this is lemon balm you all except this grass <laughs> but all of this is lemon balm mm -hmm. right here all of it lemon balm lemon balm which is in the mint family mm -hmm. but lemon balm you all can be used in teas to kind of help with anxiety you know it kind of help relaxes you a bit so you can use that to make a tea with right some people use it and dry it crush it make it into capsules and they take lemon balm on a regular basis if they suffer from anxiety or if they just really have issues with resting at night they can drink some lemon balm and honey tea right so lemon balm is here and you can see all of the beautiful basil and look at that basil which needs to be harvested so i'm going to come out and harvest this because i want the basil to continue to grow okay so this is basil this right here is my parsley this is Italian parsley right here. Look at that. Looks like I have two different varieties in here. I don't, I'm not, I don't remember, but this is my parsley right here. And then just on the other side right here, I have a little more basil coming right here. And it's actually trying to go to seed. So I'm gonna take those flower heads coming on. I'm gonna take those off and toss them because I don't want them to do that right now. I want this plant to continue to bush out and grow. So I'm taking off all of the flower heads from them, okay? All right, y'all, so now let's move on to the next area. <laughs> yeah, I think the rest of this, we gotta clean this out, y'all. There's so much grass in here. But I have plans for this, trust me, I got plans. Don't worry, I got plans. It ain't gonna stay grass, I got plans for this. Now this right here is all turmeric. So as you can see, the turmeric is looking real good. Look at these beautiful leaves. They're, they're doing very, very well. And what we're gonna do is come in with the hay and we're gonna mulch this because the mulch is gonna help to hold the moisture in so that these don't dry out too much, okay? Because the temperatures are getting hotter. And, and look, look at the damage. I did this, this is my fault. You see the damage on that leaf there and on this one i did it because i came in here with my little uh stirrup hole weeding and i didn't see the turmeric coming up out of the ground and i cut off the top <laughs> but it kept growing and as you can see it's still growing it's going to produce some new leaves so it's doing pretty good you all now we're gonna bypass all of this don't look at that that's not important <laughs> let's go back nothing to see here nothing to see here nothing to see here i'm gonna grab this wagon mr h okay okay you all so this right here i'm excited to show you hmm. i gotta finish with my little tp i was making a tp and i couldn't find the string but i'm gonna finish with my little tp here and what we have here growing in this bed, Mr. H, is some red Malabar spinach, all right? And it's just getting started. You know, it's getting hot. Red Malabar spinach is not a crop that loves cool weather. This loves heat, all right? So it's not a true spinach, but it does give you that spinach flavor, okay? And this actually is gonna grow up this trellis. The vines get very, long and so giving it something to grab a hold to is going to be important so i'm excited to be able to harvest the red malabar spinach and use it in stir fries or i can use it me personally we'll probably i'll probably be putting it in lots of salads and whatnot because that's pretty much how we like our spinach right mr h yes Raw. oh yeah so, yeah get all these the are nutrients marigolds that are growing here i planted them late but I have a lot more that I'm gonna put in this bed too, probably along all of the perimeter. I'm gonna plant more of our 
marigolds. So that's this bed, red Malabar. This is nothing, nothing to see. But now we're gonna go over to our other raised bed gardens <laughs> <laughs> and show you all why you don't plant in West India burgerkins just anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Even if the seeds drop, what would happen, Mrs. Oh, a? This is the result of seeds being left behind. You know, you eat one and then you don't eat it all and you just throw it in the garden bed. Well, this is what can happen. And I think this would be good for people that really don't want to garden but want to have some kind of food source. <laughs> Because <laughs> it, it'll take over grass, crop. everything. <laughs> this is the lazy gardener's crop, Mr. H is trying to say. <laughs> so you all, as you can see in this bed right here. Now, one of the things I want you to remember is that we have asparagus planted all in this bed. And the asparagus we harvested throughout the spring, right? And maybe very early in the summer, but afterwards, that's it, okay? And so now what takes over is the West India burgerkins. Did we plant this? No. <laughs> <laughs> this has been growing in this bed like this now for this is the second year that it has grown itself. And I have pulled out a ton of these. I've ripped them out, right? And I've said, I don't want these growing in here. <laughs> and then when I come back, there's a new one. <laughs> so The good thing about it, it's just in one section. It is just in this one bed right now. They do jump. Yeah. to the other raised bed, but it's just in this one bed. And this is literally shaded out. Come close, Mr. H. We had lettuces growing in here, which is trying to go to seed now. All along the edge of, this is lettuce. This is the red and green salad bowl lettuce that we also have on our seed shop. And we had it hard growing all down this bed, but the burgerkins have taken over, okay? And right here in the middle, this is all deal. And the burgerkins have taken over the deal, look at that deal as well. And look down here. Look at the deal heads forming on these. You all see that? That's going to be great for the pickles, right? And actually, I'm going to plant more deal. Now, this right here is asparagus that's going to fern, right? You can see it here. The burgerkins are covering it up. Look at that. But this is asparagus right here that we did not harvest and now it's ferning. We have several like that. But this is the burgerkins coming out of the raised beds. And oh, Mr. H, I forgot to show them and we'll have to go on, on the other side to show them. But this right here, you. I was going to snatch him like you did. <laughs> this right here is the um, China Rose Radish. And you know we grow the China Rose Radish not for the radish itself, but we grow them for the pods right here. See the seed pods? Some of these seed pods we let go to seed so we can harvest tons of seeds from them because this is actually not a lot of China Rose Radish planted here. This is actually just a few seeds but they grow so big um, once they go to seed and they produce the most delicious seed pods. Here you go, Miss H. Mm. Mm. Oh. The, seeds, the seed pods are good, they're peppery, and they, grow, they go well in salads. And if you can mm, pick good. enough of them, they're good. <laughs> yes. If you can pick enough of them to harvest, you mm. can pickle these. I like them. You can em. make dill pickle radish pods. <laughs> they good. They are so good, y'all. So in this bed on the other side, y'all, we have Aunt Molly's ground cherries. Okay. That are here as well. And I have more on the other end that I can show them, Mr. A. So we don't have to go back around if you don't want to. Okay. So, but anyway, y'all, I'm going to grab my wagon and we're going to move down. Now, right here is more of my favorite flower. <laughs> more zinnias coming here. And as you can see, the burgerkins are trying to make their way over. What is that? Oh, that's a rock. Okay. 
So the burger kings are trying to come over into this bed, but I'm not gonna let them. These are more zinnias. This is um, a melon, but I forgot what kind. I had so many melons to put in the watermelon patch that I ran out of room. And so I popped one here and I won't know what this is until it's time to harvest. <laughs> so I don't know what that is. It's not a watermelon, but I don't know what kind of melon is growing in this raised bed. Well, we will find out. We what, will. You know. And if you remember, this is one of the raised beds that we harvested our garlic from. You know, this is rosemary. This is a huge rosemary bush, right? We've had this rosemary bush growing here for a few years. Oh, man. <laughs> <coughs> All right. This right here is another squash plant, I do believe. I think it's a vining squash though, Mr. H. I'm not positive, but I think so. We but I'm not sure what variety. Yeah, we will know when the rain comes back. <laughs> yeah. And of course, another rosemary bush. This rosemary bush is not doing as well. It's not as healthy. So I think what I'm going to end up doing, <coughs> Mr. H, that pepper is in my throat from that radish pod. But I think I may end up pulling this out and putting, I'm going to take some cuttings from this one and uh, propagate those and then replant this space with a brand new rosemary bush. Okay. All right. Now this right here. These are our sweet potatoes. Okay. These are sweet potatoes. And I know some of you are going to be like, no, say it ain't so, say it ain't so. <laughs> but y'all, we don't eat sweet potatoes. <laughs> we do not eat sweet potatoes, okay? We grow these for our dogs. What? <laughs> no dogs? Yes, dogs. We grow them for our dogs, you all. <coughs> Excuse me, that pepper went down the wrong pipe, Mr. H. <laughs> it's, it's still giving me some heat. <laughs> Gotta be careful. You okay? You need some water? I think I probably should. Yeah, yeah get you some uh, water. Woo! <laughs> it wasn't that spicy, was it? Mine had a little heat. Okay. And then that heat went down the wrong pipe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cucumber, lemon, and mint water with a little lime juice. So refreshing, y'all. Make sure y'all stay hydrated. Okay. So the sweet potatoes are for the dogs, you all. We will harvest these sweet potatoes. We will allow them to cure. I will cook them and then I will mix it in with their meat. You know, we raise meat chickens just for them because we're trying to get away from commercial dog food. And of course, we're trying to be more self-sustainable here on our homestead. That's the goal, right? That's the goal. Okay, y'all, it is time to harvest these. Look at all of the, I'm gonna move this out the way the stage. Look at all of the damage to these leaves here. Just look at that damage. If you see all these little white butterflies flying around, like right here, see them all? Those are all cabbage moths. They produce this little cabbage worm and they will decimate, look at this. Wow. They'll decimate they the leaves. They're just take, taking, taking the leaves all the way out. Yeah. And so we're going to harvest these. Now, what are these? I'll show you. I'll show you. Ugh. Mr. H, I ain't going to be able to get it. Let me get it. Cover. I got let me, it. Let me get it. I got it. Okay. Look at that. Woo. Woo. <laughs> I'm close. Look at that. Turn it, turn it. Wow. So you all, these are rutabagas here. So we have rutabagas in this bed and we have turnips in the next bed right here. And it's time to take the turnips out as well. And I know I can't pull this out. Come look, Mr. H. 
I know I can't take the turnip oh, out. Look man. at that. Look it's at how the, the ground cover. Look at how it has raised the ground cover it's because super, it's so big. Super big. Tank. So we're gonna have to take be the, creative. <laughs> yeah. With how we get these out, and we actually planted them this way because. <coughs> 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 Mr. H. We planted them this way because we didn't want to compete with grass and weeds. So seems like it seems seems like it to me that it's working. Oh, it's definitely working. But the downside is the harvest part. Yeah. Because they're so big. So yeah, Mr. H. So that's it. With these. So that's the turnips. We have what's left over of our onions these are the texas early they're almost ready to come out they're not growing very well it's hot and so we may just go ahead and pull them out anyway and then i will take my onion tops the ones that look pretty good i will take my onion tops and i will put them in my uh, dehydrator and dehydrate my onion tops and save them and i use my green onions in my salads or in my soups or stews okay so that's what's left of the onion. So you okay? Yeah. Uh, so off? Yeah, just a bug. Just I'm got okay. You? Yeah. <laughs> so <all laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. We're all onions, you all. I'm gonna let Mr. H show you all of those onions. I'm gonna grab the wagon, Mr. H. The onions I think looking good. Yeah. They keep going lopsided. Yeah, these onions looking good, y'all. Yeah. Look at them. Look at them bugs. Look at that. I'm going to take these green tops, Mr. H, and I'm going to save these green tops. Yeah, they're so good. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah, we already harvested a lot of onions. We harvested a ton of onions. All of these beds right here, these were all onions. Yeah, all of that was onion, onions, yeah. and we, we still got them drying out. We ate some of them. <laughs> I know. It's just about time to plant onions again. And in these pots right here, you all, we did these to show you all that you can grow ginger in containers, right? Because some of you saw that we planted ginger here in our raised beds. And the ginger is doing very well, as you can see, growing along. All, all, the, all down this bed is even hidden, that's a, it's even hidden, tucked away some of it behind this squash plant that I planted here. Look at that ginger. Right? She got it in her hand. But the ginger, ginger is everywhere. But I wanted to show you all. Now this is not, this don't belong here. So the ginger growing in the containers, look at this. Just look at how good this looks. Isn't that beautiful? In a container, y'all. In a container. And I set them here in the raised bed so you can see how they compare, right? This ginger has been down longer than this. But look at how it, this is catching up in the container to the size of some of this that's in the raised beds. So you all can grow ginger in containers. You all can grow turmeric in containers. Okay? And, and the good thing about containers, you don't have to worry about bugs that's on the ground coming up. Yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, the, the vores and all that oh, stuff. Oh, the voles. <laughs> well, they still can dig under like they did our sweet potatoes last year. And they ate some big chunks out yeah. of those sweet potatoes. Yeah. These are our beets. These are ready to come out. Oh, are they ready? Come look, Mr. H. Can y'all see down there the beets? Oh, look at that. Can y'all see all those beets down there? Look at that. Down here. Look at that. They're ready to come out. These are the, um, let me see, we planted Ruby Queen. We planted the Detroit Gold or the Golden Detroit and the Detroit Reds right here. So these are Detroit Reds that Mr. H showed you. This is Detroit Red right mm -hmm. there. These are the Golden Detroits right here, Mr. H. Okay, let me get you, a better woo, angle. Can you see down there the Goldens? Yes. All right. And then down here we have the Ruby Queen. Oh, look at this one here. Wow, you can see that one good. Oh, wow. Look at this though. 
Wow, the Ruby Queen. Look at those. Look at how. Look at that one right there, Mr. H. Look at how they have. How they have. Um, look at that. Mmm. Man. There we go. Go smooth with that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And one of them is really big. And then we have more of that poinsettia. <laughs> <laughs> and these are some other of the beets that we planted and they don't look nearly as good simply because because of the Agatha and Penelope like to come in this bed and make it their own personal place to lay an egg and there they are right there <laughs> agatha and penelope if you see them y'all excuse the mess but if you see them <laughs> them two right two there girls are the culprit. they are those two girls are the culprit y'all <laughs> hey tom you looking good you looking good i like those feathers you looking good <laughs> don't encourage him <laughs> Don't encourage him. Woo! Him and his crew. I know. Y'all, if we start egging Tom on, he'll be over here. He'll never leave us alone. He will follow us. <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah. So we have more of that poinsettia growing here. This is where I dug it up from. I dug it up when they were real small because I thought those were my Aunt Molly's ground cherries. And I shouldn't have did it. I was tired. <laughs> so we both made a mistake. Well, no, that's all me. You didn't have anything to do with it. I made a mistake over there with, oh, the, yeah. with the trellising. Yeah. But these are our Jerusalem artichokes growing here. And if you've ever seen Jerusalem artichokes grow, they grow so big and tall and beautiful. And they put on some of the most beautiful sunflower looking flowers. They're not sunflowers, but they look like sunflowers and they are so beautiful. But the rhizomes grow underground, right? And the artichokes that grow underground, y'all, if you know people that are diabetic, I'm telling you, they don't like or they can't eat potatoes or something like that. This is a perfect alternative to potatoes because you can cook them and you can mash them and y'all, they taste really good. They are a great alternative if you cannot have regular potatoes, okay? And they grow underground and we have we we dug these up right mr h yes we did and we replanted the largest rhizomes that we had and i think it was about two four it could have been between six and eight rhizomes that we replanted and they were all like this right and so you all we did that because we wanted to reproduce from the best of what we had and we took everything else out you don't have to replant these from year to year they will come back on their own this is a perennial okay so it'll come back on its own every single year all right now here is what i thought i was digging up <laughs> <laughs> i have several of these throughout this bed and the bed on the other side but these are our aunt molly's ground cherries here and as you can see they're producing tons of ground cherries yes and y'all i never have to replant these these replant themselves from here's one that's ready no, did something bite into it? No, say it ain't so, Mr. H. Say it ain't so. Some something bit, it. bit into it. Oh, no. Now, here's the thing. I could take this. See the seeds in here? I could take this. Look at all of those seeds. Can you get close enough so they can see them? Look at all of those seeds. Yes. So, y'all, when I take this, oops, and I just throw that in the ground like that, I will see those again next year, I guarantee it, okay? But these are very sweet. They are a great little healthy treat to have in the garden. Something is eating up our leaves, Mr. H. Wow. Man. But these are an excellent treat to have in the garden. And this is more Jerusalem artichoke. And right here, all of this that's going to seed, this is all cilantro. It's going to seed. It is going to produce some coriander, which is the seed, right? But, Cilantro. Yes, and it smells amazing. Mm. Y'all, this is probably one of my most favorite herbs, cilantro. I love cilantro. I love growing it. In fact, you all, when I pull up the 
turnips and whatnot, <clears throat> or I'm not really sure yet, but I know I'm gonna plant a ton of this here in just the next few days. Cilantro, more basil as well, because on, I have bees everywhere, so I was gonna move it out the way, but I'm not gonna move it. <laughs> but I'm just gonna come right here and show you, Mr. H, and you probably could get a good look of it from your side. So you see all of this? This is all basil going to seed right here. Look at that, this is all basil. Go slow with the camera so that it doesn't make everybody dizzy. So this is all basil. It has the flowers on top. It's going to seed, y'all. And I'm, I'm not going to allow it to finish going to seed. I'm going to pull it all out. And I'm going to take this area right here and I'm going to reseed with more basil. This is more of the... <clears throat> This is more of the China rose radish right here that we're growing because it does attract the pollinators. And you all, it also produces those beautiful green pods. And down deep in here, and I think we had some dill in here too, but I'm not sure what happened to it. But down deep in here, you all, we have some lavender growing that right now is just kind of being overtaken by the rat look at the size of those radishes in there y'all y'all see that wow whoops look at the size of all those radishes in there mm. so you can harvest these for oh something getting me yeah, look at so size. you can harvest them just for the radishes you all look and at this. This uh, is not getting enough sunlight it's not but this is the that is the lavender plant right there and I think, Mr. H, you are absolutely right. I think I'm gonna pull these so that our lavender can get, look at these beautiful China rose radishes, you all. I'm gonna harvest a couple more for the sake of getting it out of the way of the lavender so the lavender can get some sun. That's not gonna be good. There we go. How's that? Yeah, I think... Uh, That's a little better. Yeah. Because that lavender needs that sun. Look at the lavender. There you go. Come yeah, on, there we go. Need a little water. Look at these, Mr. H. How's that? Oh, that's nice. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, China Rose Radishes, you eat these, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like I say, we harvest them. We like the pods more than anything. Yeah. All right, so you all, I'm gonna take these and put these in the wagon so that we can move on to what is next, okay? So, so far, we hope you all are enjoying the garden tour. Please let us know what you think. And Mr. H, I'm gonna let you take over. Okay. Because now we're gonna move, look at the, look at the girls, Mr. H. Look at the oh, girls, no. Mr. H. No. You see what I'm saying, you all? This is what they do right here. They get in the beds and they try to find a place to make it their own. They know I'm coming. They know you're coming, Mr. H. Get on back. Get on back. Come on out of that bed, y'all. Shame on y'all. Shame on y'all. Tom, could you please do something about your ladies? Could you talk to them? Ask them to show a little respect. Oh. Tom, Shame on y'all. I think I'm going to have to put them up. Shame on y'all. Go ahead and put them up. Stay out of that garden bed. Shame on y'all. Come on, Tom. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, so far, this is our garden tour so far. Hopefully, you all are enjoying it all. Mr. H, hopefully, they're enjoying it all. <laughs> Enjoy all the what we showing y'all y'all can do the same thing that's right that's right that's all the right y'all yep come on y'all let's go and move on to the next garden bed all right mr okay. h you gonna grab the wagon yes and drink some water sir you hot yeah, I know. you gotta stay hydrated okay <laughs> let me get some of your special water mix. special water mix mr h is that Agatha back there? Yes. Oh, Agatha, she don't like the other ones. Agatha stay far away from them. 
All right, y'all. Now it is time to move on to it's the other to garden. On, I know this is a long garden tour. I know it is. It I is. know it is. Hey, Tom, you coming with? Show us your feathers. Ooh. Do it again. Do it again. Woo. Woo. <laughs> That's Tom and his crew. That's the crew right there, y'all. They don't like Tom for some reason, so we don't yeah. let them out at the same time. Can't do that. We don't like. They don't like Tom, they so they be, be trying okay. to gang up on Tom. So we have to. Hey, it's one at a time. One at a time. I think Tom and Nosy was brothers, wasn't they? Tom and Nosy was cool together. Yeah. All right, Mr. H. Okay, we're going to Big Mama's garden now. We're going into our Big Mama's garden. Tom, you can't go. Sorry. No toms allowed. <laughs> Come on, bud. So we gotta get Bud in here before we close the gate because you know how Bud, he'll be out here whining and going on right in the face. Come on, Bud. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Hurry it up. All right. Okay, now. Hold on, I gotta close the gate so Tom don't follow behind us, Mr. H. Okay. So Bud went under his shade tree. He under there. He's like, I got to chill. I got to chill. Y'all know I don't like all let them. I don't be, I don't be out there in the heat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Mr. H. Okay, this first row. I know. Uh, Let's talk about the ugly. Yeah, this is the ugly right here. It started off pretty Beautiful. good. But this broccoli row. Mm -hmm. uh, as you see, the, the enemy right the here is attacking the leaves. Mm -hmm. We took that cover off, you all. And we were going to harvest the broccoli, actually. We took the cover off, and we didn't harvest it. Time and things just kind of happened, and yeah. we didn't get around to it. And as you can see, it's going to seed. But that's okay, because in truth, we really don't like growing brassicas in the spring and summer. Yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to do a redo on this. In the fall. Yes, we are. In so. fact, we're about to start those seeds, right, Miss Stage? Yes, we are. Okay, now... You're getting down to the nitty gritty. Yeah. One of my wait, wait, favorite. wait, 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 mistake. What's this? This right here? Yes, sir. Don't you forget either. Don't you forget, sir. Uh, shame on you. You not already forgot. <laughs> For shame. <laughs> That's my zinnias, my favorite flower. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mr. Flower, H, I'm gonna need you not to forget that again. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I gotta get used to her fa favorite flower. Yes, sir. Zinnia. Yes, sir. My Zinnia. favorite flower. Okay, now we have this is the pepper op. Yes, look at those Cajun bells, Mr. H. Ooh, man. Wow. Oh, we gotta stake these. Yes, we gotta stake them up. We didn't get around to it. Yeah. Y'all, I'm telling you, things just kind of happen. You know, you get busy. Yeah. And look at these right here. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Now, that one at the bottom is just about ready to come right off. Here? Yeah. Can I take it? If you want. Did, yeah. we, bring our did we bring our basket? Well, it's we right can over. harvest it all in a little bit, I suppose. Because yes, yes, we... we got a lot of harvesting to do. Yeah. And look at this right here. Oh, wow. This is that poblano pepper, y'all. Yeah. Mr. H, I'm going to have to come. You might want to go on the other side so you can show them that pepper. And yes. I can get down here and get a good view of it. Yes. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Yeah. See that? This that's is... that poblano pepper, y'all. They get pretty big. And um, that's going to be absolutely delicious. It has a lot of little ones on it, Mr. H was saying. Yes, a lot of them. They're not ready. So we got to stake it. Yeah, we got to stake this one. This one's For sure. Get because, really, really big. Yeah, because the peppers get so big on that, Mr. H, right? Yes, they do. All right, Mr. H. Now talk to us about where we at now. Okay. Jalapeno. <laughs> jalapeno, y'all. Y'all know Mr. H love his peppers. Yes, yes, y'all. Jalapenos, and we got them, too. Look at this. Oh. They Mr. coming. H. They're everywhere. They coming. They everywhere. We got to stake them. I got to stake them. I don't want to mess with them too much. Yeah. But I, you can, I can move the leaves and let y'all see. Okay, look back there, y'all. Y'all see all them peppers, Mr. H? Can they see? Let's see here. Y'all see all them peppers? Don't I got my work cut out for me? Whew. I got my work cut out for me, and it ain't just one plant. It's all of them. Man, look at this. Look. Clusters. Look at that, y'all. Mr. At H this. love his peppers, y'all. Look at that. Mrs. H was saying, that's enough peppers. I sure was saying, that's enough. We don't need no more pepper plants. Man, 
Look at this one. Look at that. Yep. Look at this. Woo. This one's so heavy. Don't even pick it up. I can't even. It's leaning it. over. It's so it's got so many peppers on it, Mr. Yeah. H. I'm gonna have to come out here and uh do some work. Look at that. This one is going kind of slow right there. Yeah, but they, that one's coming slowly. Yes. These are leaning. All of these jalapenos, y'all. Now at the end down here is another jalapeno, but you know, we got a lot. We got, we got a lot, y'all. We got our hands full. Yeah. I'm gonna come back in these empty spots down here where the peppers are. I'm gonna put more marigolds down here. Okay. And as you can see, more brassica plants. <laughs> yes. Those cabbages, we're gonna harvest those, right? Those cabbages will not go to waste. We'll be able yes. to get those. We couldn't get to this this plant. Yeah, here. we didn't we ran out of um space for staking yeah and we tried to put a stick in it and it didn't work so we got to find maybe a t-post or something to put down yes. to stake up this tomato because it is loaded with tomatoes and stage. yes all right okay. so i'm gonna back up down this aisle mr h okay or where's the sun oh it's right above me so i could just kind of go down the aisle with you okay okay now Woo, we can show you tomatoes now we got a lot of work to put in here's a cluster right here mrs h I green see. green tomatoes oh yeah those are the uh I'm, i got some um uh orange romas here mm -hmm. and then these are my german johnson's i think yes i think these are my german johnson's right here and mr h look at all these wow. y'all can't see but it's like a ton of tomatoes behind mr h now, of course, this one is getting a little blight on it. Yeah, we're going to have to. We have several of them. We have to stand these up. And mm -hmm. we got a lot of work to do. And I'm going to tell you something, Mr. H. I noticed that our sun sugars, black cherries, they all end up with some kind of blight way ahead of the other varieties. And I'm not sure why. And um, I don't know. The tomatoes are not planted in the same place that they were last year or the year before that. We've moved them down. So... I don't know, but they're, yeah. that yeah. blight is definitely, you know, it's, it's coming on them. Yeah, this one needs trellising right here. It does. I'll have to come back with my little, Yeah, so because I didn't get back. a chance to do it yesterday. Yeah, we had to come back. And, oh, look at this cluster right here, Mrs. Rachel. Okay. You can this come. one is blushing, so I may come back and harvest that one and take it in the house. And all of these are my paste tomatoes on this row, supposedly. Some yeah. of them died. Yeah. And we had to replace them with other plants. So we have paste tomatoes here as well as slicers. Yes. And also Ooh. we got something. Look at all those right tomatoes. Now. That's falling over. Don't pick it up yet. Here's I don't want clamps. it to break. You don't want the clamp? I don't have any clamps right now. Right here? Want so, me, well, me try to clamp it? We could do it when we come back so we don't stop the tour. Okay. Because we got so much more to show. Okay. And actually, we'll do a video showing them how we stake them up so they can see. Beautiful tomatoes. These right are here. more paste tomatoes here. Look at those. Aren't they beautiful? Look at these these are all Roma tomatoes. You know those Italian Romas that we had on our site? I think these are that way. I, I don't know how many I put out here. But I think these are some. Yes. Right here. And I have another one there. These are more tomatoes. Look Here's at that. more. You all see all those tomatoes? Yes. Look at that. That's a lot of tomatoes, y'all. Look at that. Yeah, they're coming along pretty mm -hmm. good. Look at that bee right there. Where is she? Bumble. Oh, Bumble. <laughs> now, this one, I forgot what kind of tomato this was. You could see how it's shaped. I forgot what variety this one is. I don't think it's my mushroom basket, but look at all these tomatoes, y'all. These are all paste. Yes. Paste so, tomatoes looking good. Paste are looking amazing, Mr. H. Look, y'all. I see tons of uh, tomato sauce, pasta sauce in our future, Mr. H. I do see it. <laughs> so do you think that Italian uh, recipe that you have, you can put the work with? Yes, sir. Yeah. I believe I can do that, Mr. H. I do it just for you. Okay. And then that mango salsa, Mr. H, I got you covered. Oh, man. Look at, look at this cluster. More paste tomatoes. Yeah, these aromas. These yeah. are all the aromas right here. And this is the cherry. Different varieties. 
These are nice little small tomatoes. Yeah, this is that black cherry. We purchased this black cherry right here, Mr. H. We purchased this one. Wow. That's the sun sugar. High taste, Mr. H. Mm. That's good, isn't it? Bursting with flavor. I know, I know. <laughs> oh. Okay, Mrs. H. Okay. Come on, y'all. Let's let's get on down this next aisle here. Now I'm gonna do a twofer down this aisle, okay? Cause I want every oh no, the heat then then burn this one. Oh. Yeah, we got to do some trellises. Yeah, and we got to harvest. I'm going to throw this over to the chicks. Enjoy. They're like, ah, food. Okay. So we have bell peppers here, you all. Lots and lots of bell peppers. This entire row is bell pepper. Okay. And as you can see on both sides of me, we just came off of this row of tomatoes. So this is our third row of tomatoes right here. I think this one is, what variety is this? I tried to use somebody's, um, okay, this is that mushroom basket tomato right here. I'm gonna put that back in there. So that's the mushroom basket variety here. This is another sun sugar. Now this one, we, we started from seed, but look at how the blight is taking over and I'm gonna come and cut all of that off. Yeah, we gotta cut Because I just don't like the way it looks. Yes. You know, I know eventually it's just gonna win, but I don't wanna, I'm not gonna just allow it to take over. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get rid of it as it yes. shows up. And look at all of these bell peppers here. Look Ooh, at this bell one pepper. is full of uh, some kind of a spider web, Mr. H, look oh, at that. No, that's, that's gotta come off. Ugh. What is that? It's a spider web. And whatever made it, I'm not gonna upset it. <laughs> yeah. Could be trapped in a Look lot at of that instant. bell pepper right there. Ooh, Look at that... all those peppers down there. Nice big beautiful bell peppers that we got to come in and harvest. Wow. So today is also going to be a harvest day you all. So now I'm going to switch sides here and we're going to go ahead and come down this aisle of um, <sighs> bell peppers so you all can see you know. This age. It's bell peppers yeah. after bell peppers after bell peppers. Yeah. Got the bell peppers. More peppers, y'all. More peppers. So we have beautiful tomatoes growing here. These are more of those mushroom basket tomatoes right there. And they're looking absolutely wonderful. And this right here got mixed up over here. This is not supposed to be here, but it is. So this is a giant Marconi pepper right here. Is that a squash bug? It is. Where'd Get you in. go? Where'd you go? He fell, but this is uh, giant Marconi right here. Okay, and then we have more bell peppers here and more Marconis here. You can see them falling over, Mr. H, on the ground. Wow, look at that. So staking these is an absolute must. Staking them is a must, you all. Come down, Mr. H, so they can see, but yet, remember you gotta move the camera slow. So look at that. Look at that pepper, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? These are absolutely gorgeous here. Okay. And then, of course, we have more of our slicing tomatoes here. All of these are more bell peppers, more tomatoes. Let me say, can you see me? Yes. Wow. Y'all see this? That is huge. Look at that sunflower. Woo! <laughs> this is another one of those mammoth sunflowers, you all. And unfortunately, <laughs> when it produces the head, we'll have to do it from just a little ways off because you see how tall it, this plant, this sunflower is, okay? Y'all, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunflower. Great sunflower grow off, y'all. Let's do it. Let's do it, y'all. <laughs> yes, yes, y'all. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna come around. Now we have more tomatoes here, Mr. H. Wow. 
and I'm not gonna go all the way down the road, but I just want them to see, Mr. H, that we have more tomatoes down this row, right? Yes. So, you all, if you all can look behind me, you will see these are an additional two rows of tomatoes. So that gives us five rows of tomatoes. Why didn't we plant five rows of tomatoes this year? Because last year we had such a problem with birds and other worms. And remember, we didn't spray anything on our crops last year, not even an OMRI listed organic solution. We left it as is. So this year we figured, well, we have the space. Let's plant a few more tomato plants and then all that they don't eat and the chickens don't have to get maybe we'll have the crop that we want right yes but this year we are spraying this year we're spraying some bt for the worm now you all this is another sunflower here we have two of them actually so this is another i didn't get him he fell but i didn't get him Ugh. And I'm noticing also more of the, I want to call them grasshoppers, but I think they eventually grow into something really huge. huge yeah, I've seen one. And so we have more of those out in the garden this year than we have ever had before. I've seen a lot of them, you all. So now down this row, we do have some shishito peppers growing. Remember, we saved a ton of shishito pepper seeds last year right so we have shishitos growing here and we have bell peppers growing here as well now y'all remember these are the strike green beans right here all of these are the strike green beans and you all remember i said these are our favorite varieties right here these strike all right and they're beginning to put on these little pods as you can see the thing about the strikes you all is that once they start producing they just kind of explode into production and this is our second planting of these uh, striped green beans because the first planting a lot of them didn't come up and those that did come up didn't make it and so now i'm thinking that instead of trying to plant the strikes in April, we should probably, early April, we should probably wait to the end of April or early May. Oh, I did get him, Mr. H. You got him? Here he is. Right here. Ah. At least he didn't get on my hands, though. You see it? Yeah. At least he didn't get on my hands. It was between the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you got him pretty good. I'm serious about getting him. All right, y'all. So, coming on down. Past the green beans. We have more bell peppers here in this row here. Bell peppers looking good. Okay, more green beans here in this garden. Now you all, we come down to, y'all, these are our royal burgundy bush beans right here. And y'all, we gotta get out here and get these beans off of here. Man, Can you see that, that. stage? Look at that. Green beans everywhere. Royal Burgundy Bush. We sold mm. out of these on our seed shop, but they're everywhere. Look in there. Look at that. Wow. And we let some of them get a little too big, but as you can see, they're everywhere. It's time to get these off, and we need to do it as soon as possible. We got to get out here and get these harvested, you all. We got tons of bell peppers that need to come off the plant, as you can see. We got bell peppers here. Time to get them off, right? Okay, so y'all, let's look. More raw burgundies in here, Miss Age. You see them? Yes. Man, look at that, y'all. So these will be harvested, God willing, first thing in the morning. Woo! Okay, now I gotta do this out. Yes, sir, you sure do, Mr. Age. Okay, here. Y'all know go. this is his favorite. Here we go. Which he, side? This is his favorite. I'm gonna go down. Which side shall I go? You good, Mr. H. Whichever side you choose. Whichever side you choose, Mr. H. 
<laughs> eggplant. I'm with you. I never <laughs> ever ate eggplants in my life until Mrs. H sauteed the eggplant and gave it to me and it was like, man, I've been looking for this all my life. It's magic. <laughs> she put some seasoning on it. She, she, I don't know what she did to it. I kissed him. She kissed him. <laughs> and I wasn't the same after that. My mind was spinning. The next day, the day after, eggplant <laughs> was my thing. All right, I like that, Miss so, H. Here we go with a small one right here. Black Beauty. Oh, look at that. A little bitty something, but it's coming. This was planted later than yeah. the others. Here's another little small one, just oh, yeah. a baby. Look at that, just a little one coming. When they come, they come. You see a lot of little pods right here? Little flowers, yeah. And there's one that's, that's flowering? Yeah. And y'all, they coming. Yes, they are, Mr. H. Oh, look at this one right here. Okay. Here I come. Oh, yeah, we can harvest that one. Oh, we yeah. We can go on and take that one today, too. Take it right now? Nope. We can get it when, when we get our basket. Okay. And here's a lot of small ones right here. Okay. I can come around the side of you here. Look at that. Oh, look at those under there, y'all. It's so many of them. Yes. Wow. Grow any plants, grow. <laughs> They're growing, Mr. H. <laughs> Here's one right here. Oh, look. That is wonderful. And, and you know they grow overnight. <laughs> they do seem like they just come out of nowhere growing, Mr. H. And this one right here, that's another one. Mm-hmm. Look at this one right here. I see. Hold on, let me come over there. I think this is the... A different variety. I think this is what now, they call. Now this is that long purple. Gotta be careful not to knock the flowers off. Something and bit a hole in it, Mr. H. Oh no. Oh yeah. I need to take this this one off then. Yeah, we'll come back and harvest. We don't have anywhere to carry them right now. We don't have our basket. Wow, this one here is leaning. Mm-hmm. Yes. Look at this one, Mr. H. Oh man. Wow, look at this. Let me come on that side of you because that way yeah. I can get a better picture look at that. for look at them. These, look at these beauties right here. Look at that, y'all. Look at these, these beauties. eggplant everywhere. They're loaded. They are. And so is that Ooh, one. Oh, and the bees is loaded too. Mm-hmm. You got to be careful up Ooh. in there. <laughs> you got to be careful look in there, Miss H. Look at them. They all up in there. Yes. Look Ooh. at all of those eggplant, y'all. Wow. They everywhere, Mr. H, and Mr. H got a sunflower behind him. Look at that one, as he stands next to it. Look at that. Wow. Look you know it's one. tall. Look at this one. That's beautiful, isn't it, Mr. H? Yes, it is. And Mr. H, let's talk about this okra we got here. Okay, this okra. This okra right here. Oh, it's one that's ready too. Oh, it's, it's some, oh it is? Yes, it's one that's ready, but I see, I see these. Out. Let's see where it's at. There they are. Right here. Got some little blooms coming. Yep. Now this one is the, oh my goodness. I forgot what okra we planted. Emerald. Emerald. Look this is emerald. Pods. Look at these pods here. Oh man, Let's look see. at that. Right here. I can't see. Oh yeah, we got a lot of little ones coming there. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. H is one ready somewhere. There it is. Where? Right here, Mr. H. You got to get it so we can taste it, Mr. H. You got to get it so we can taste it. Wow. May I have first bite? Yes, look at this, y'all. Oh, yeah. And you can have the second bite. Go ahead. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This is wonderful, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Wow. This owl is going to produce... Mr. H, there go another one. Oh, man. You can have this one to yourself. I can have it to myself? Mm-hmm. You don't want first bite and give me second bite? Mm-mm. Okay. I'll take it. Y'all, look at that. Woo. Emerald okra, y'all. This is so good. It is. Mm-hmm. Homestead Heart Garden. Mm-hmm. Homestead Heart Garden Tour mm -hmm. 2023. Mm -hmm. Mr. and Mrs. H 
is in the garden again. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm stepping on vines. Okay. Now this is that red ogre. This is that red, um, red burgundy right here. It's not producing yet. You get a good rain. Hopefully they'll jump. What happened was, is that some of them, the first ones that we planted, Mr. H, something ate the tops off and we had to come back and replant. Yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. And they continued to do so. Now let's talk about your Boston pickling cucumbers, sir. Oh yeah, Boston pickling cucumbers. Here's mm -hmm. a little small one right here. Mm -hmm. Couple of them. It's a lot of them in there that's ready. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. When they're growing up the trellis, Mr. H? Mm-hmm. Look at that. They flowering too, so. Mm-hmm. So they're going to Hopefully be... I got everything that was on the ground because it was so many. Oh, look at that big one just hanging down there. Look. Come right there? Mm-mm. Oh, I missed that one yesterday. Well, you see another down one there? right here? Mm-mm. Down there on the end. See right here? Move that leaf back right there. Oh, man. See, he's on the other side. Oh, that's a nice one, there. Yeah. Oh, I can't see. There it is. That's we got to nice... go get it because we got to harvest it so we can Okay. get all the pickles done. Wow. This is the Market More 76. Here's a small one right here. Well, here's, mm -hmm. here's one right here. Look at that. There's one on the other side over there. Mm -hmm. A lot of them, really. Mm -hmm. Man, it's beautiful. Look at this one right here. Oh my goodness, Miss Age. This gotta come off. All oh, both of them. You want me to get them now? Mm -mm. Look at this one. Yeah. I can't see until you pull the leaves back. There we go. They're everywhere, y'all. Look back there. Especially on the other side. Look. Mm hmm Yeah, we gotta get in there and get them out. Yes, we do. Yeah. All right, y'all. Okay, we, we going down. See y'all long. And look what we have here. They are growing nicely as well. Oh man, we missed this. Why did I miss this yesterday? I harvested on that side. Y'all, they be hiding. Look at this one. Oh, they seriously be hiding up in here. Yeah, that's a lot of... We got more one. cucumbers to get. Mm-hmm. That Su Yo Long lives up to his name, you all. And it's a delicious cucumber, y'all. I'm telling you, we love it skin and all. The skin is not bitter. Yes. It is a delicious, fresh-eating cucumber. We got them all down here. Mr. H? Yes. Didn't I make some cucumber um, uh, chips yesterday? Yes. And I'm putting them in the freeze dryer, y'all. Yeah, and, and, and the skin was, was delicious. Perfect. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. Put a little seasoning on it. Yeah. Oh, it was it was it was on. Y'all, I seasoned them and made some chips out of them. Yes. And uh, they are so good. And look at this right here. Oh wow, Mr. H. I must have come down here yesterday then to have missed both of those big old cucumbers. It's just so much. It is a lot. They hide well. Look at that. Mm-hmm. They're growing all back there. Baby's coming up. Yeah. All right, Mr. H. Oh, okay. that's one last sunflower right there. Yes, coming up. Yep. A nice last time beauty. to head on over. Yes, and to I'm that corn, Mr. H. Okay. Here we go with the corn, y'all. Oh, this ground cover, it goes down here, over that grass. So we just gotta get it and put it down, y'all. So that's why it's here. But that ground cover is going back down to take care of all of these weeds back here. Now look at this corn, y'all. I'm gonna turn around. Oh, it's wasp back there too. Y'all, okay. look at the corn. The corn patch. As you see, they tasseling. Yes, and they're beginning to dry. Wow. Miss Stage, look. They're beginning to dry. Not quite yet, but don't squeeze them. Not quite yet, but it's beginning to dry, y'all. So that corn is looking good. Look at that. Wow. And we also have uh, beans. Oh yeah, we got green beans green coming up beans. around the corn. That's what you see here. Yeah, this is green beans right here. Lining all around the corn as they grow up the stalks. Yes, and this corn is, whew, look at this right here. 
Oh, Yo, look at how tall that corn is. This is probably a little better than six feet, right, Miss Stage? Yes. And it's probably about six four. The corn, the tallest that we see. Yes. Wow, this corn look good. Look at the green beans just taking. Uh, 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 Y'all, we're going to be harvesting corn here. Uh, Miss Stage, what you say? How long do you think it's going to be before these tassels completely dry out? Give us another week or two. Yeah. I think we'd be good. We'll be ready. We this is the other side of that cucumber aisle. Yes. Those cucumbers are everywhere. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Did I miss something? I did. Oh, no. It's okay. It, it'll be okay. But this corn. Wow. Miss Stage, what you think? I think it's going to be wonderful. I mean, it's looking really good. And look See at the, the beans going around this stalk right here. I'd, oh, yeah, look, look at, at that. that. Just wrapping itself around. Mm -hmm. Growing up the green beans. Look at this. I yeah. mean, growing up the corn stalk. So, yeah, we will have green beans. These are the Kentucky Wonder Pole beans that we planted around here, right, Mr. H? Yes. Look at all the corn through there. We got three, five rows of corn in here, all green beans at the base. The, the problem that I see if we, once we uh, decide to harvest the corn, we mm -hmm. don't want to just mess the, the beans up. We don't want to. No, we'll have to be very careful with harvesting the ears of corn. You see how it's wrapped? It's wrapped around the whole ear. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrapping around the whole ear. All right, y'all. Yes, this corn is looking good. We 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 had problems with it at first, mm -hmm. um, with with some pests. Well, we just what we are uh, just fertilized. We sprayed uh, with some um, BT. Yes. Just uh, just once, when they were when the um, army worms were really tearing up the plants, we sprayed once. We came back out uh, day two or three. Yes. And we picked off about four or five more army worms. And yes. after that, we really haven't seen any more damage to the corn, as you can Man, see. That's a huge corn right there. It is? Yeah. I'm on my way. Look. Just so y'all can see. That market moor lives up to its name. That's a beautiful, beautiful cucumber. Market moor 76. You look say that, a look year? At that, look at that corn right there. Ooh, I don't know if they're going to be able to see it, but it is huge, y'all. It's a huge corn. It is huge. That's a huge ear of corn. It is beautiful. It's huge over there. There's a lot of big ones over it there. It sure is. We just can't get over there. <laughs> and these are just starting out. Oh, man. It's, it's, it's looking really good. It is, Mr. H. It's looking really, really good. Everything is looking wonderful. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of this maze of corn here. Look at that. See what I did? Maze of corn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, y'all. Let's get out of this junk. There got another one of those bugs. I missed Where? him. He got away. <gasps> I think I know these. These got to be our bees, Mr. H. Look at there. Hey, sweetums. Oh, yeah. Hey, sweetums. How y'all doing? Love y'all. All right, so let's get out of this. Do you want to show them the bees? Oh, the bees. You think we ought to go over there? But well, we can zoom in. We don't have to get close. I don't know if they're gonna be able to see from back here. They probably ain't gonna be able to see, but that's where our bees are. Follow me over there. Y'all have seen them before. Y'all have seen them before. Okay. Yeah. Now, so y'all? The reason why this corn right here is yellow, I think this is where the water popped off. And Well, and plus I don't think this area, I don't think we enriched this side as much as we did behind it, right? I so. think, I don't think we did on this side. I don't think we, we did justice here. So we probably can give it some fertilizer and see what happens. Yeah, we're going to have to rework that area, I think. Yeah. But for the most part, y'all, to say we just created a corn patch. Yes. We dug uh, trenches, backfilled it with some organic matter and composted cow manure. Yeah. And mixed it in with the sand. Yep. Added some nitrogen, some feather meal. Yep. And we planted in it. We started our corn from seed and we transplanted the starts. So that works for us. And we have a video explaining why. But this is that corn patch. Mr. H is down in that corn. Yes. You see that we are uh, not knee deep, but deep in corn. Mm -hmm. If we wanted to go bigger, 
we can go bigger. Yes, we could. You know? So we're gonna replant this area, right, Miss Stage, with more corn? Yes, we are. Okay. So we're gonna keep going with the corn. Okay, great. Yeah. All right, Mr. H, so we're gonna come over this way a little bit. Y'all, just look at this beautiful garden that God has blessed us with. We are so happy. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful, and we are so thankful, and we are so grateful. Doing the good, bad, and ugly. Accomplish. Yeah, doing the good, bad, and ugly. We just kept on going. We just kept going, Mr. H. So we hope that you all are enjoying the garden tour, Mr. H. What you think so far? I think it's a great garden mm -hmm. compared to the prior years. Mm -hmm. I like this year better. Really? Yeah. The reason why is that, you know, we actually know what to do and what not to do. And Big Mama's garden is looking really good. Yeah, we're learning. Yeah, we're learning. So on how to improve. Yeah. So we're getting more comfortable with the failures. <laughs> failures? You know, the good, bad, and ugly for us, like the pests. Um, you know. I guess I wouldn't say failures, um, Mr. H. I think, to me, in my opinion, I would just say that they're just learning experiences. Okay, well, we learn from the, the bad part of the process yeah and we learn how to you know bounce back from it don't let us don't let that mess us up as much yeah to say we're gonna give up oh no sir you know no sir so every year goes by we we get better and better so. that's right sir you know that's the goal that's why i like this year so much better you know it's, it's making us more season right. okay 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 yeah so we this is what we got yeah. Homestead Heart Garden 2023. I like it. I like it. That's what we have, y'all. Yes. I'm happy with it, Mr. H. I'm pleased. Yeah. You know, coming from a seed, <laughs> everything looking bare to what you see here. Yeah. 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 I'm proud, and I know you're proud. Yes, yes, I am. As well, Mr. H. Hard, hard work pays off. Yes, it does. All right, y'all. Mr. H, I think that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. Woo, good job, Mr. H. Thank you. Y'all, this garden, we are so proud of this garden. And I don't know, we wanted to show y'all, I know this is a very long, very long video. I'm gonna make sure y'all can still see us on camera, okay? We don't wanna we don't want to have our heads cut off, right, Mr. H? That's right. <laughs> we don't want our heads cut off. So, y'all, what we're going to do, y'all, I think we're going to get ready to wrap it up. I think the video is long enough. And yeah. um, I think what we'll end up doing, Mr. H, is just, I don't know. Well, it's hot out here Keep for one. Keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, it's hot out here for one. It is. You want my thingy? No. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's not a failure when you, when you try and you just bounce back from the, the, the misfortune. Yeah, that's true. You know, the misfortune, you know, and, you know, it, it's, it's a process. Mm -hmm. So, once you get used to that process, and then this year when pests come and... and Mm -hmm. eat your stuff up and you know you have the different things happening yeah and then this year then we say well we're gonna keep on going we're gonna replant and that's what we do we replant which is why we planted so many of the tomatoes this year because of how much we lost last year and we heard so many of you saying it's okay to share some, but you can't give away all your crops to the pest. You got to fight back, you know? <laughs> yes. And so remember y'all for years, I was saying I will never spray anything out here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this year was our first year spraying the BT because the army worms were literally taking out our corn. And so I sprayed a little bit. It was diluted, you know, a yeah. little more than it should have been. Mm -hmm. But I sprayed a little. And then I haven't sprayed anything else since then. But I think I'm gonna because we have so many pests out here. And we've already taken several tomatoes. Yes, And given them to the chickens because worms have eaten holes in them. 
So we're gonna spray some BT. That BT is good for worms. It's good to kill off the worms. It won't harm our bee population and our um, none of our pollinators will be affected by the BT. So it's, it's all organic. Yeah, it is organic. Now that spinosad is also organic, but you have to be careful with that stuff because that stuff kills everything, worms, bees, butterflies. So if you decide to use something as strong as spinosad, make sure you do that in late in the evening when your beneficial insects are away, right, for the night. And then when the morning comes, the potency of it will not be there for them and they won't be affected, okay? Yes, yes. So, but y'all, this, this is, is our garden tour. We hope you all enjoyed. It's a two hour video. Yeah. No um, editing, right? Yeah, so <laughs> straight raw footage. Unedited footage. And also, you know, another thing, we bounced back from that hard freeze when everybody put their seed stars in the ground and then yeah. it started to look good and then a freeze come. 22 degrees here. Yeah. Three days. So that really messed with me a little bit. Yeah. I mean a lot. <laughs> but now you see, God is good. Yes, he is all the time. He is great, y'all. Look at this. Just look. So you all know the kind of work that is about to be up on us, right? because now the harvest is just about here Ooh. and so that means a lot of work because it's it's some work planting but y'all when it comes to putting away the harvest that's some serious work because you got to get it all done before your vegetables just start dying you know once you take them off the plants or off the vines or the bush or whatever the case may be at some point, you got to get them put up properly because they start to diminish in nutrition, y'all, when you take them from the vine. So we got to preserve them as quickly as we can, right? That's right. So that's one of the struggles that I know that I've had is because you have so much mm -hmm. to do, right? Yeah. So like when we come out here and harvest all of these green beans, well, that means now I have to get green beans blanched and frozen or canned or freeze dried with chips. <laughs> yeah, we got to make a decision. So we got a lot of, to do, but at the same time, you're taking bell peppers off, tomatoes off that needs to be canned. You know, you're taking so much off out of the garden that has to be processed and put away. Yeah. And so it's a lot of work, especially for just a couple of people. Yeah, it is. It's so y'all, I'm trying to get my mom here this summer. <laughs> <laughs> if she can pull away from what she has going on back home, get my mom here to help. Oh, that would be so lovely to have my mother. <laughs> yes, it would be. In this kitchen with me helping to put away the harvest, y'all. Yes. So Tom has followed us. Yes. And you can't come in, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. That's it, Miss H. That's it, y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining us on this beautiful, beautiful garden tour. This day is hot, but it's not scorching hot. Yeah, it's real humid. It's very humid because we're in for round two of those severe storms that came through the south here uh, yesterday and day before. So y'all, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for joining us again on this vegetable garden tour herb gardens we didn't show y'all the kush y'all but we can show you that in another video yes we can so thank y'all again for watching homestead heart if you haven't done so already go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up big thumbs up y'all don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos we upload to our channel and thank y'all again for watching homestead heart peace and blessings yes yes y'all <laughs> you know i wasn't gonna forget that i huh? know <laughs> to each and every one of you and we're gonna see y'all in the next video and remember, y'all, grow your own groceries. Grow your groceries. <laughs> <laughs> Peace.